overall, I think that uh, it's a, a pretty somber assessment of what's going on. Uh, and I think that the uh, focus is on stability. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, activi- uh, activist economic policy, uh, is uh, limited in scope. It's uh, limited to about uh, one trillion RMB in central government uh, corona bonds and uh, an increase of uh, 1.6 uh, trillion for local government special bonds. So it's, uh, it's 2.6 trillion. Uh, it's a two and a half, about two and a half percent of GDP. Uh, it's in, quite modest by uh, global standards in the current environment. Mm. Oh, yes, indeed. And broadly speaking, I picked up two lines that really defined the policy uh, expectations one should keep from China going into the foreseeable future. One is that monetary policy would be kept flexible and they're going to look at cutting interest rates going forward. Uh, You talked about how they're looking at issuing uh, treasury bonds as well as local bonds to pick up the slack uh, on how much spending would be required to prop up the economy. And then on the fiscal side, they're talking about fiscal policy being more proactive, essentially highlighting that there could be uh, tax cuts and fee burdens brought down in the future. So all in all, do you think that in that sense, it's been a wholesome plan where they're trying to balance monetary policy action with fiscal policy? Well, uh, I think in terms of tax uh, incentive is an extension of uh, what uh, what, uh, uh, happened last year. So uh, the report talked about the total benefit, but uh, it's not new. It's just an extension of last year's program. I think that uh, you know the government's priority right now is uh, is national security, both internal and external. So uh, target, economic targets are not 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 that important, and the financial stability is. Uh, so the government will use the financial system. Uh, to stabilize the economy, in particular, as the shadow banking system uh, uh, pulls back, uh, the, uh, the, the banking system has to pick, a, pick up more. And so we're going to see a bit more expansion uh, of, the, uh, of the bank's balance sheet. But, uh, but it's really for stability. Uh, China is not in an all-out push for economic <clears throat> growth like in 2008. It, it is, uh, the, the, the economic plan mm. is very restrained, very modest. Andy, speaking of national security, I mean, one of the biggest issues that hasn't been mentioned yet but by Premier Lee, but which is certainly, you could say, the biggest market mover this morning, is the fact that we understand the NPC is going to be taking up legislation to enhance national security in Hong Kong and thereby bypass LegCo, essentially. Take a look at what's happening in these Hong Kong markets. Straight out of the gate, the Hang Seng off some 3%. We've seen property names, banks really weighing to the downside. How significant is this proposal? Oh, I think that uh, the market uh, is surprised because uh, it was uh, uh, didn't uh, expect the government to change uh, its uh, how it governs uh, Hong Kong. But the signal has been already around for for quite a while. The, the central government is taking a more direct role in uh, managing Hong Kong, and the and the downside uh, for more in intervention. Uh, was was uh, you know, uh, instability in Hong Kong society, but it's, uh, Hong Kong society is already in, unstable. So, for from the Beijing's perspective, there's a very l- limited downside. So there will be more and more direct control. Well, but what about the downside when it comes to the blowback from the United States? Already, we've heard Trump warning on this. We've heard from some senators who want to do what they can to prevent this from happening. And it comes at a time where the relationship is already so fraught. So we're hearing from Premier Lee in this speech moments ago saying that he wants to make sure they implement the phase one trade deal, that they'll work with the U.S. to continue to do that. But how do you characterize the relationship right now? Well, the government uh, wants to uh, the phase deal to succeed. Uh, hopefully, that would uh, uh, ease the relationship somewhat. But in terms of Hong Kong, I think the uh, the priority is to uh, really to have it under control. And uh, uh, the central government sees a lot, lot of the downside because of the Hong Kong uh, could be used as a base for sabotaging uh, Beijing. So, uh, mm. so the downside is, is very great. In terms of how the U.S. will respond, taking uh, uh, Hong Kong off as an independent customs territory, uh, for for China, the, you know, the yeah. downside is really limited. Limited. If China wants to use Hong Kong to circumvent the okay. technology embargo, it's not likely to succeed.